okay, this is a bit of an afterthought, but I want you to consider the expression x raised to the 1 over ln x. Can you simplify that? It came up with a specific value for x in a question in my calculus textbook. And when I looked at the back, they had a simplified answer. I won't tell you what number I had for x in that particular question, because it works for all x's. But I was shocked to see that this can be simplified. Now in this expression, of course, we know that x must be greater than 0, because you can't have the ln of a negative number or the ln of x. But besides that, to figure out what this simplifies to, let's just call this y. Now let's take the natural log of both sides. And then let's apply the law to the log of a power, which means the exponent comes to the front. So this is 1 over ln x, and we're left with ln x, which very nicely simplifies to 1. So if the ln of y is 1, what's y? Well, this is the exponent to which the base, and of course the base of the natural log is Euler's number e, 2.718281828, and then just when you think it's going to repeat, it doesn't. It's an irrational number like pi. So y would have to be e, because 1 is the exponent to which the base e must be raised to give that number. Of course, we don't need the exponent. So amazingly, that is equal to e. So it doesn't matter what x is. In, in my particular case, it was 4, but it can be any number that's positive, and it's equal to e. Doesn't that just blow your mind? Amazing. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to do some other math videos in the very near future.